Hi, welcome to Breaking the Panels. I'm Ashley, and this is my review of Marvel's latest effort, Black Panther. Black Panther stars Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyong'o, Andy Serkis, Danai Guerrero, and Leticia Wright, and is directed by Ryan Coogler. After the ruler of Wakanda, King Shaka, is killed in an explosion orchestrated by Zemo in the events that took place during Captain America's Civil War, Wakanda is in a state of transition, as succession to the throne points to T'Challa, direct heir to the throne. However, T'Challa's leadership will soon be challenged by a ghost from King Shaka's past, a ghost whose goal is to bring order to a world he sees as being oppressed by corrupt governments, by using Wakanda's advanced technology to aid in his quest. Now this movie is an undeniable hit, and another amazing example of how the MCU has taken a lesser known character and placed them in the forefront of the public conscious. Black Panther has a completely unique identity all to itself. This trend is occurring more and more in the MCU, in particular movies such as Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, and now Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman was fantastic as T'Challa. He really captured a sense of royalty and responsibility to his people. Leticia Wright, who played Shuri, was very likeable and fierce. Her comic book counterpart goes a long way in the source material. And with the character's fantastic portrayal in this movie, anything is possible for Shuri in the future of the MCU. In my opinion, the show was well and truly stolen by these characters. Claw, played by the great Andy Serkis. Okoye, played beautifully by Danai Guerrero. And the powerful M'Baku, played superbly by Winston Duke. Claw is definitely a character who has room to manoeuvre in terms of their character being revamped or updated. Andy Serkis definitely stamps his mark on Claw and makes the character his own. Okoye is an incredibly honourable character whose fighting prowess is only equal to her loyalty to the king. M'Baku was probably my favourite character. However, he was only in the movie for a short period of time, but he definitely made an impact and I feel this character has many more layers and has a lot more to offer. Now don't get me wrong, Black Panther is certainly a hit, and I loved it, but there were a few things that irked me a little bit. Like Michael B. Jordan, he is an outstanding actor, and I love him in most of the movies he's in, but I do think he was a little bit let down by a rather generic villain in Eric Killmonger. And I do feel as though Black Panther was a little predictable in places, and the plot was a little too straightforward for me. One thing I outright didn't like though, was Black Panther's suit. I felt it was slightly overkill having T'Challa's suit with all that power, on top of the character already having powers bestowed upon him. Costume designer for Black Panther, Ruth E. Carter, done a fantastic job. The costumes in this movie look awesome, be it traditional or more superheroic attire. The costumes really do complement the character's individual and unique personalities. Well, Black Panther and Wakanda will appear next in Avengers Infinity War, and I for one cannot wait. Are you excited for Avengers Infinity War? Please comment below. Also remember to like and subscribe. You can find us all over social media at Breaking the Panels.